<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, are you ready for a little bit of fun today? Just, just a little bit. Just about that much. Today I'm going to unbox Folio Society's edition of The Road. Now as you may or may not know, whether or not you've seen my, uh, my channel before, uh, I already own the ultimate bestest edition of The Road that there is to own. The one with the Ryan Pankos dank artwork, the beautiful stuff from Suntup. I already have that and it's my most, one of my most treasured books. One of I own several sun tubs. So this book is sort of extraneous on top of that. You could consider this book to be like the artist edition because uh, sun tub never did an artist edition, but it's an entirely different one. It doesn't have the same artwork and the same typeface setting and all that that I love um, about the sun tub edition. So this is a little bit over the top in this time of scarcity, um, but this was a, a gift from a family member. So um, I'm totally happy to have it on my shelves. And a funny thing is, when it comes to typesetting and type design and typography, uh, my wife's a graphic designer, so that's her that's her jam. And she likes what Folio Society does. She's she's a fan of their type treatments. So this is kind of fun because this might be her preferred edition. Um, and uh, she can be wrong, that's fine, but it'll, it'll be fun to have these two books in my collection. Just like Fahrenheit 451, I got the Folio Society and I got the Suntup edition. So we're going to get to it and I, I'll, I'll share it with you. Um, I'm not going to do a side-by-side -side comparison because it's tacky, but if you want to see, um, uh, and I, I've seen other people do side-by-side -side comparison, you're not tacky, I just don't want to do it on this channel. If you want to see the the Sun Tup edition, just go check out uh, my previous video. And the Magic Duff Bucket is, uh, uh, of course, is on hand to help out with a, with a liquid box remover. Kind of ease the skids, a Kalamazoo Stout. Kalamazoo Stout from Bell's, and I'm not going to pour it. Kalamazoo Stout. Good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So let's get to it. Folio Society throws words all over their box. Um, I've done Folio Society unboxings in the past. I have Something Wicked This Way Comes, um, Fahrenheit 451, and A Clockwork Orange from them. Really nice books. Really nice. Really good, solid good books. Like I said, I guess the comparison would be an artist edition or a gift edition. They call this a collector's edition um, of the road. That's their terminology. Every publisher calls their different tier books. I've never gotten a deluxe edition from Folio Society. Um, they do them. I just, I've never had, I never bought one. Um, so, I know Dune June, their edition of June. So this came from the UK. Was a deluxe edition. Don't let me interrupt me. It's the bill. It's the bill which is already paid. Oh, okay. Your books were packed by Jurgita. I I've never seen that name before. I don't know how to say that name. Apologies, Jurgita. Jurgita? Hergita? I don't know. I'm sorry. I really am. I wish I was a better human. Uh, Folio Society catalog. Ah, there's uh, something wicked this way comes. Great, great artwork. I would have loved to have gotten the Centipede Press edition of that bad boy. So, here is The Road. This is a uh, part of their spring collection they just came out with brand new release from them i don't know this one of course is not signed um and 
they do they do very plain slip cases but I'd rather have a plain slip case than no slip case I do I do like that they don't do dust jackets which I, I'm, I'm glad I don't really I mean I like dust jackets if they're done really well and anyway so here is here is the full art I'll get you the artist's name in a second. Um, illustrated by Gerard Dubois. And um, there's a, there's a, uh, uh, an afterword by, um, uh, I think the New York Times Review of Books or the New Yorker. I'm not entirely sure, but it was a famous, a big piece that was published a while ago. So you can see it's it's a very it's a very nice edition. I mean, very cool um, artwork, very apocalyptic, very desperate, which reflects the work, um, which is again the best book ever written that I've ever read. I mean, you can have other opinions, and that is fine. So. Um, Here's some, oh, here's some artwork. Very, very cool. So, and if you've never read this book, you're not reacting to these scenes that I'm showing you, uh, you, you have to. You have to read this book. Um, awesome book. So it's, it's nice to add this to my collection because, uh, in my opinion, The Road is a book you can't have too many copies of. I don't know. I don't have a first edition. I just have uh, the glorious Suntup edition, this one, and then a trade paperback. That's that's it. So I don't have any other like first editions or any, anything like that. So um, I'm, I'm happy to have these two uh, on my shelf. And... Um, I, you know, next time I did read my Suntup edition and that experience was incredible. You got the ashen paper, you got all the, all the artwork that comes through at just the right moment. Um, so I'm happy I read that. That was the best way to experience the road. I'll probably read this too at some point. Um, cause this is, this would be more, uh, a much more, uh, user friendly reader copy. Um, so very cool. I'm glad to have it. That's it. That's really it. Um, I'll, I'll show you some pictures at the end. And um, is that board a little further away? I don't know. And, uh, and share them with you, and you could check it out. Get over to Folio Society if you want it. Um, it's a Cormac McCarthy kind of day or month or whatever because Blood Meridian was just, uh, I just bought that. Blood Meridian. Oh, I cannot wait for that one. I cannot wait. The the rumor mill is saying that Folio might do a Blood Meridian as well, which would be a fine, like again, a fine uh, artist edition level, but nothing will top that Blood Meridian from Suntop. Jeez. Oh, I cannot wait for that book. So that's it for now. That's it for now, for like right now. Um, uh, you know, if you don't have a copy of The Road and you don't have you know, over a thousand, you know, what is it? $1,500 to spend on the secondary market for a sun top. Get over and get that. That's, that's a, that's a, a book you need to read. Um, so, uh, I can only recommend that if you can't get the road from sun top. So if you can get that, that's the one to get. So thanks for watching and, uh, and hitting that like button and subscribing and uh, supporting the channel with your eyeballs. <laughs> I collect eyeballs. I collect them. What do you think goes into the magic duff bucket after dark? Eyeballs.